So hi, my name's Rob. Um, this morning I just bought a 2.4 litre transit van, uh, extra long wheelbase, high roof, and I'm going to be converting it into a home, basically. Um, let's have a little look around it. Okay, so this is the cab. Um, pretty bog standard cab, it's got a CD radio, everything in here seems to work alright. Um, as you can see on the clock here, just under 82,000, or just over 82,000, sorry. Um, odd little thing about this van, uh, we have a manual window opening handle here, and over on the other side we have electric windows, which don't work, so pff, don't know what's going on there. From the outside, as you can see, it's a big old van. Uh, we'll over the, start over the back here. We've got a bit of a bit of a nasty dent uh, with some marks on, but nothing nothing too bad. Um, if we have a little look down here, you'll see that there's some rust going on underneath. Uh, this is all going to need treating. Uh, really bad under the near where the door is. Or should I say worse? It's not that bad. It's just worse. Uh, the window screen, which has a crack in it. You probably just about see it's quite bad uh, so that's going to get replaced and round to the other side here again down here we've got quite a bit of rust under where the doors are uh, and that just sort of tapers off as you go towards the back it's not so bad um, this van sent me back three and a half thousand uh, given what's what's actually wrong with it uh, it's not too bad I'd say the door handle here is broken, uh, but it has a lock, so it all locks up nice. Uh, I will probably get that handle fixed though. And as you can see, I've already had at it in here, uh, pulling the panels off and that. There's a little storage area up above the cab, uh, which had the felt thing that's down here, that thing. Uh, pulled that off, so that's open now. Uh, these are just bits of plywood that are already on here. They're a bit grotty, a bit smelly, so I've pulled all that off. Uh, it's nice and well it's generally sort of nice and clean behind it uh, no signs of any rust spare wheel is flat should have checked that before i bought it that's a little tip for you if you're going to buy a van uh, but yeah as you can see inside we've got quite a fair bit of space uh, that bolt he head might get removed i'm not sure yet and the last thing is this back door doesn't seem to have any handle to open so that's probably going to need fixing as well We've had the van back from the garage. Uh, it was hella expensive to get repaired. Uh, I spent nearly £2,000. Uh, okay, so repair on oil leak turbo, repair oil leak timing cover, uh, full service, um, eight new bulbs, repair oil leak in the water pump gasket, alternator belt was changed because that was worn, and the antifreeze was contaminated with oil, so that had to be replaced as well. Okay, so got the rest of the panels off, and now we're just sort of clearing it up a bit because it's filthy underneath. Um, Mike's helping out, he's doing the rust treatment over there, and Kirsty's here. She was, she, <laughs> she's got the broom, uh, and, and I think Dunk's having a fag. Don't keep the fag. Damn. Total spent the van so far three and a half grand on the van itself, replacement the windscreen, 120 quid. Um, got a ladder for the back door, uh, that was £101, uh, brand new, but I'm going to get that sprayed up black because it's just steel at the moment and it's, it's got to be black I'm afraid, sorry. Uh, engine repairs, £1,830.45. Oh. Um, service, £119.82. Um, and I've just ordered some uh, lenses to go over this. Uh, the side markers on the van because I haven't got any lenses on the bolts are just been replaced so I don't want them getting damaged uh, and all that so far comes to £5,714.67p which ain't too bad considering I was going to spend you know anything between six and 7000 on a van in the first place so not too bad uh, also we've been spending a lot of money on tools so we're trying to drive we're off on the way to go get some tools so we can sort out the rust and bits on the sides and get get that all cleaned up
stuff just so I can you know work out in the dark and because uh, it's winter at the moment of course um, getting drill bits uh, other stuff what we got here rust converter abrasive discs set square because I'm going to need that when I come around to doing all the woodwork and that masking tape gloves ear defenders because when you use an angle grinder in a van it's kind of loud <laughs> Dust mask, brushes, and some brush on under seal, which we're going to use as well, just to help keep the keep the rust at bay. Uh, so the total on tools has been 110 pounds 29 already. Um, so altogether, so far, I've spent 5,824.96. And then there was a van. A van without a bolt head. A van with a slammy door. A van with pizza. A van with van a floor. With a van. How do you feel about your van, Mr. Bunny? It's still good. Now all the crap, all the crap and that has been cleared up and gotten rid of. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. To be continued. Indeed. Most definitely. you probably want to know what's up next um, so the plan is uh, finish off the rust treatment of course um, also what I'm going to do is I need to get the roof sorted out before I can put any insulation or anything in there I need to make sure everything's bolted on the roof so what I'm going to do next is probably use some of the wood panels that have come off from in the van and I'm going to cut them into the shape of the size I'm expecting to get the solar panels in and then I can get up on the roof and just put them about wherever see what sort of plan we can come up for arranging the solar array on the roof um, after that um, it will be a case of getting the solar panels I suppose and fitting them uh, also I want to do more um, 3D work on the on my computer for the inside of what it's going to look like uh, maybe I'll be able to show you some of that in the next video um, I'm currently using a program called SketchUp which is free you can download that if you want to Squeaky chair. Um, yeah, you can download that. That's free if you want to get that. That's really helpful. Um, also, I have noticed as I've been uh, editing this video uh, while I've been doing this, um, the sound isn't brilliant on here. So I'm going to try and get hold of a, a little sports camera or something like a um, like a GoPro, one of those kind of things, and just use that everywhere for all of my recordings. Um, that should improve the sound, I think. Hopefully. Um, yeah, and, and that's about it, I think, for now. Um, taking things one step at a time. Don't get too, uh, too overwhelmed. And that's the end of this episode. Uh, the van's now stripped and ready for some real work to start on it, and I, for one, am really excited to see how this project goes. Uh, I'm not sure right now how often I'm going to be putting out videos, so if you're interested in uh, seeing how the project comes along, feel free to subscribe and you'll be kept in the loop. Uh, if you've got any questions as well, uh, of course, post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer for you. Uh, that's all for now and hopefully I'll see you next time.